Wednesday, December 27, Success in Mission. What is success in mission? We might be tempted to think that it is many baptisms, big churches and rapid growth rates. We might feel that success consists of entering every tribe and people group on earth with the truth and that we can speed it up by using radio, the internet and TV. While all of this can be good, we must remember what Paul wrote to the community of faith in Corinth. I planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the increase. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 6. In other words, our focus is to be on the process. God's focus will be on the growth. We have already seen that the object of God's mission is saving the lost in every people group on earth by making them loyal disciples of Jesus who are involved in his mission. Read the following texts. What do they tell us about the character of those who become followers of Jesus? First of all, 2 Corinthians 11, verse 2, For I am jealous for you with godly jealousy, for I have betrothed you to one husband, that I might present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. And Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 21. Your ears shall hear a word behind you saying, This is the way, walk in it, wherever you turn to the right hand or whenever you turn to the left. And John chapter 10 verse 27, My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. And John 16, verses 12 and 13, I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. However, when he, the Spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth, for he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will tell you things to come. And 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 9 to 11. The coming of the lawless one is according to the working of Satan, with all power, signs, and lying wonders, and with all unrighteous deception, among those who perish, because they did not receive the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this reason, God will send them strong delusion, that they should believe the lie. And Hebrews 3, verses 12 to 13, Beware, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God. But exhort one another daily, while it is called today, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. And 1 John 1, 8, If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. And the following verse, 1 John 1, verse Verse 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And Revelation 7 verse 14, and I said to him, Sir, you know. So he said to me, These are the ones who come out of the great tribulation and washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. And Revelation 19 and verse 8, and to her it was granted to be arrayed in fine linen, clean and bright, for the fine linen is the righteous acts of the saints. Disciples of Jesus are pure, remaining loyal to him as a pure bride would to her betrothed. They follow Jesus as he leads them by the still small voice of the Holy Spirit. This includes leading us into missionary work for others. There is no deception in these disciples. They are not led astray by debilitating doubt, false teachings or immorality, and they do not feel morally superior to others. They recognize that they are imperfect, requiring God's cleansing grace and mercy. Understanding this, they also are open to receiving correction and instruction from other believers. Success in mission results in making this type of disciple. And so to finish today, what does it mean in 2 Corinthians 11 verse 2 to be a chaste virgin to Christ? How can we as sinners be this before God and point others to becoming chaste virgins to Christ as well? This lesson was read by Dr. Percy Harold for Christian Services for the Blind, sponsored by the Sabbath School Department and distributed through Hope Channel Australia 
This podcast is also redistributed by Hope Channel Germany, Christian Record Services for the Blind. It is also available on SoundCloud and through multiple podcast distributors, including Apple iTunes. And you can listen and watch at the same time on YouTube. Remember, God is always faithful.